Mind your decisions, Presh Talwalker here. Mark Rober is one of the most popular YouTubers. He tweeted out, For the last five months, every single video of mine has been number one on YouTube trending, and they're averaging 20 million views per video. I have some thoughts on this. He was trying to put some perspective on his fortune. In his explanation, he had the following sentence. If you give 1,024 people a coin and give them 10 tries to get as many tails as possible, it's a statistical certainty that one of them will flip 10 tails in a row. In the ensuing discussion, people pointed out the math on this wasn't entirely correct. And Mark admitted his mistake, and they got to the correct number. But for people who have never seen this kind of calculation, I thought it would make for a good video. So. Each of 1,024 people flips a coin 10 times. What is the chance that at least one person flips all 10 tails? Next, suppose we repeat the experiment with n people. How large must n be so there's a 99.9% .9 chance that at least one person flips all 10 tails? Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. Let's calculate the probability. Suppose you flip a coin 10 times. Each toss has a one half chance to be tails. The probability that you get 10 tails in a row will be equal to one half multiplied by one half multiplied by one half a total of 10 times. This simplifies to be one half to the power of 10. We'll then consider the complement event, which is one minus this event. This will give you the probability that you don't get 10 tails in a row. Now let's simplify this fraction, and then we're going to consider this event for n people. Each of n people has the same probability, so the probability that n people don't get 10 tails will be this probability raised to the power of n. We then consider the complement event, and that will be equal to the probability that someone in n gets 10 tails. We'll now use this formula to solve both parts. First, we'll set n equal to 1024, which is equal to 2 to the power of 10. We substitute this in and we get the following formula. We can actually estimate this without a calculator. This term has the form one minus one over n all raised to the power of n. If we take the limit as n goes to infinity, we get one over e, which is approximately 36.8%. We want one minus that, so above we'll get approximately 63.2%. It's nearly two out of three, and that ain't bad, but it's not quite a statistical certainty. So how large must n be to get to 99.9%? We'll set this equation equal to 99.9%. We'll then rearrange this equation and simplify. We then take natural logs on both sides and bring the exponent down. We then solve for n and then simplify to get n is equal to 70, 70 and some fractional part. Since n is a whole number, we round up. We need at least 7,071 people flipping coins to have a 99.9% .9 chance that someone will get 10 tails in a row. I really enjoy problems like this, and I'm glad Mark's tweet provided an opportunity to cover this calculation. Thanks for being the best subscribers on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.